AutoCAD Super Hatch Command, Hatch with Images and with Blocks. Hello, welcome to the Infinity Projects Brazil channel for you who are not yet subscribed. In this class, I will teach you how to use the AutoCAD Super Hatch Command. Enabling so that you can make a humanized, decorated, plant, using only the AutoCAD, to do this I will teach, not apneas. The super hatch command but also other fundamental commands to make the plant humanized without having to use other programs, so. Watch the entire video so you don't miss any details, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next classes that I'll post here, and click. On the bell activate notifications so that you receive alerts for new classes. To insert the image we want in the plan, simulating in this case, the floor, we type super hatch. After triggering the command, we click on image. We choose the image we want. Click OK. And later we choose the image scale. Done that just click on the desired region. Laying the floor, the process is identical to doing common hatching. As you can see, the images have several squares, or rectangles, if. If you want it is possible to remove it we use the image frame command. To use the image frame command, just type image frame. Click with the left mouse button on the command, and then type the number 1, if the number 0 appears on your screen. Then, click on the command again and type 0. In order not to get the little squares, the image frame command must be zero. See this table I made with a Mogino finish. It's important to turn all items into blocks after you've inserted the hatch. See that when I insert it. On the floor, the same disappears. This happens because AutoCAD does not know which block should be on top and which one on the bottom. So let's show it to the program. The order we want. This is done with the draw order command. To adjust who is on top and who is on the bottom, we must master the tools that are in modify, send T back to be below everything. And bring to front to be above all, with this we control who is below whom, we can also use bring above object and select who the object will be above Now I'm going to make hatch using a pre-made drawing, as an example I'll make a kind of tile, for that, you need to transform the two lines. That I did in block, and later use the super hatch tool, and click in block instead of image, this way we choose the desired block. And later, we use the tool in the same way. Now I'm going to teach you something that is very important for anyone who wants to make a humanized plant in AutoCAD, note that when I try to make hatch. In a region with many details, the same lock. If this happens to you I suggest you cancel the hatch, as the process can take up to hours and not be finished, the tip I give to be able to do the hatch is to create a polyline as I do.
after creating the polyline you move it out of the drawing and control C to take the drawing to another file. This way the new file will not have as many lines and the find will be done quickly, then just copy again and take to the initial design. Now as promised at the beginning of the video, I will teach a bonus tool. That tool is the wipeout tool. It serves to make a mask over. The object, see that when we make a rectangle and place it on top of our floor, only the lines appear. If you want it to be completely filled. No need to create an hack, just make this mask. So to create just type wipeout, type P and enter to trigger the polyline, and then click on the rectangle, then choose the erase option yes or no. And now, just move across the floor. If this video class helped you in any way, leave your likes and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or have any suggestions, leave them here in the comments, I promise I'll get back to you straight away.